Hey guys, welcome back to Wig Studio One. I'm Eileen. Today we're going to look at a style from Beltrest. This is called Roma, and this color is Oyster Gray. It's part of the City Collection. Of course, these are heat-friendly fibers. If you have any questions at all, you need any help, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at wigstudioone.com. I will put the link how to order this wig in the drop down box below. And also, did you know that Wig Studio One has a private Facebook group? Now, it is a great place of not only encouragement and support, but you will get first notice of sales. We have about once a month what we call Sell It Sunday, where you can buy and sell your gently used wigs and toppers. So please join us over there, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So let's look at Roma. This is a really fun, short style. Look at all these graduated layers, wispy fringe right here, which I like. Like I said, these are heat friendly fibers. I like, of course, I like short hair and I like gray wigs. I don't think we see enough gray wigs. The bang on this is four inches. And the nape is two, it weighs 2.8 ounces. So this is a nice length on this nape. If you have hair that grows down on your neck a little bit, this is good coverage for that. Make sure you see that. It comes in 12 shades, I believe. Now, just a little note. If you are wearing one of these gray wigs and you have darker bio hair, I would suggest that you try to, if you have one, wear a wig cap that is white or a very light color. That will lessen the chance of the wefting showing. Now I'm going to show you this color in some outdoor lighting in a few minutes, but let's talk about Oyster Gray. It's an unrooted gray mix, as you can see. Look at all these different shades of gray through, going through here. Lightest gray, and it also has a hint of white. Again, unrooted. I know a lot of people don't like rooted wigs, so if you don't like rooted gray wigs, have a look at this one. Let me show you the inside of the cap. Okay, Roma has an extended lace front, as you see. There is a little permatease here into a deep part. Now you can part, you can move it anywhere within here. It comes all the way back. That's really a nice feature. Closed ear taps with stays, open wefted, extended nape, and Velcro adjusters. Now this fit me really well. I did not do any adjustment to this. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and I felt like this was a really nice fit. Let's just do a few little styling tips on this one. Now, like I said, this has a little fringe. I'm going to use my hot air brush and this is the one I use, the hot tools. And I believe this is a one and a half inch barrel. I'm just going to roll under these bangs, just bump them under a little, so please dis disregard this noise. What you need to keep in mind when using this is keep this barrel moving at all times. Now see, I'm just going to use this to turn these bangs under just a little bit in case you like a bang all the way across. These are a little long for me at four inches. I would probably need to trim these a little. And you can easily do that. But just with that couple seconds of using that hot airbrush, you can turn these wigs under, these bangs under a little and just have a different look. Now, always use a wide tooth comb can brush those back. I'm going to use a little bit of wig wax, which you know is one of my favorite products, and I'm just going to separate these fibers with it. That's all I'm doing. You can see I'm just running my hands through it. Now let's talk about permatease also. There is some permatease in this wig. I'm not going to say it's a huge amount, but keep in mind, we all have a different opinion of permatease. People ask me about it all the time. What I think might not be a lot, might be a lot to you. It just depends. It's from person to person. There's no way for us to give an amount of permatease, but there is some, and it gives it this fun shape at the nape. There's not a lot. There's just not a lot in my opinion, but I do feel some running through here. There's not a lot on this top. You can see, I can smooth this down pretty easily 
and get it. It's not a big billowy bunch of permatease on here. So I just want to make sure that you understand that. But I do like a little height on these short wigs and I can easily get that with this wig wax here. I like to just separate those fibers, piece them out a little, give it a little personality, make it fun. You can easily do that with just a little product. As this has a lace front, you can pull this back and I want to make sure you see this lace front. There's my bow hair right here and here. So this has really nice coverage. So make sure you see that. And then you could pull this off. It would be so cute like this. I like to just twist mine. It just twist it up a little and get one of these really small clips. You can pick them up anywhere. Clip it in there. And then if you don't want your bio hair to show, just pull some out. Just pull some in front of it. Easy to do. I don't really even notice it, but if that's something you don't like, you can just pull some hair out around it. Put it behind your ears if you like. Have it all coming forward if you like. There's so many different ways to style these short wigs. Thanks for stopping by our channel today and having a look at Roma in Oyster Gray. Again, join us in our private Facebook group and also please like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.